Bingo. Come and get it. Ah. Lad, he looks hurt. We better talk to Professor Calamitous. Hello. Today, kids, we're going to be learning about Advil. But, Professor, that says STDs. Yikes. Oh, man. That's the last class. Oh. All right. Today, we're actually learning about Advil. It's a noun. Plural, if I may. A non-steroidal anti-inflammation medicine. Some slang terms for Advil on the streets of Wisconsin and stuff are propionic acid, Motrin, and Nuprin. These drugs are used for the management of mild to moderate pain, fever, and inflammation. Some side effects of Advil are... Rashes, ringing in the ears, headaches, dizziness, drowsiness, diarrhea, constipation, and heartburn. Advil is not recommended during pregnancy. This drug should be legal to use because I'm addicted to it. No, um, wait, no, because it heals things. If you have moderate pain and you're an adult, then you should take Advil every four to six hours at a 200 to 400 milligram dose. If you have a child between the ages of one and 12 who has a fever, then you should give him Advil. Advil is made by hired professionals in a chemical lab. Advil comes in many forms, which are chewable tablets, pills, and a cat. Wait, wait a second. Cat's not on the list. When Advil enters the body, it lowers the levels of prostaglandins. As a consequence, inflammation, pain, and fever are reduced. But the good effects of Advil highly outweigh the bad effects. Now, let's check up with our little friend, Timmy. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I think I'm gonna get some Advil.